the Leadership Challenge Show with me, Reverend Felix Kaboy, again here, and with us in studio to help us in this conversation, Dr. Mary Mugo, uh, Dean of Faculty, Faculty of Economics and Business at Mount Media University. Welcome back, Dr. Thank you. And we have now to hit the nail on the top mm -hmm. with no apologies <laughs> when good people keep quiet evil thrives evil will thrive correct we begin by asking ourselves this question dr mm -hmm. where are we as a country mm -hmm. when it comes to matters of integrity are we okay or we are messed up where we are as this country, we yeah. all know we are totally messed up. Why do I say so, Pastor? Mm -hmm. We all know the kind of corruption that has gone. Mm -hmm. We all know during Corona, we even had Corona millionaires. Yeah. We all know that people even stole the, you know, the things for the sick. Mm -hmm. We all know in this country, you know, people are so bad that... I hear you even pass through Kemsa and you have 10 billion contracts. You, you are just walking around. You are just walking, uh, walking around, around hiding, you know. <laughs> <laughs> now, what amazing, does that say? Amazing, amazing, yeah? amazing. Yeah? yeah? So, in my view, this country, mm. we are totally messed up. Mm. Uh, people are always looking for a way of um, getting something out of everything. Mm. In fact, when you speak to people, they will always ask you, what is in there for me? Oh. Actually, even when you call people for this show, mm. I can assure you a few of them will ask you what is in there for me. In that show? Oh, yeah. And we are doing it to help the society. Correct. Yeah. So this country is messed up. Mm. If you go to the counties, everybody is complaining mm. because the leaders are getting their own relatives to jobs. Mm. The leaders are you know, developing only their places mm. and they leave the rest. Mm. The leaders are giving their friends the tenders. Mm. So in short, Pastor, it is unfortunate that we are totally messed up. The politicians don't keep their words. Mm. The people in leadership in organizations are really keeping their words. So all the deals that are being done are not clean deals? There could be a few that are clean. There Actually, we have leaders who are clean. Could be. Could be. Uh -huh. But what we read in the news, what we hear every day, we are messed up. In fact, I'm not a prophet, a mm. pastor, but I have a feeling that by the time this vaccine business is over, kutagua na kashwa. Dr. Ali, Wow. Dr. Ali, you know, uh -huh. our president... Uh -huh said the other day that we are losing two billion shillings every day. Correct. How much money is that uh, in, a, in a month? In a month is 60 billion. Is 60 uh, billion, billion is stolen every month. According to your president. And that is according mm -hmm. to our president in this country. Mm -hmm. So now, oh God, where do we begin with this <laughs> mess now? <laughs> Dr. Ali, mm -hmm. do you believe people who believe in themselves? Mm -hmm can steal and do corruption. There must be something wrong with people to go out there to steal. Mm. People who believe they can make money, they can work hard. Mm -hmm. Do they have business stealing anybody's thing? No, you know, it all boils down to your values. It uh -huh. all boils down to what you believe in. Mm. You see, it is really sad that Someone who has merit, you know yes. what we call meritocracy. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes. And you're trying to do your work and you're doing your work well, you never even get promoted because probably you below you, you are in the wrong tribe, mm -hmm. you, you, you are in the wrong, you know. So we must change our values. That is mm -hmm. number one. And yes. when we change our values, we must change our leaders. Mm -hmm. We must put people of integrity and people who have values. Mm -hmm. Because as we said earlier, some of them get there and then they start stealing. Mm -hmm. And before they were looking good. So, yes, if you believe in yourself, 
If you have the right values, mm -hmm. you will not steal. Because okay. why would you steal? Why would you not do what is expected of you? Remember, if you don't do what is expected of you, you are mm -hmm. out of integrity. Dr. Terry, yeah. please help us. Help us. Because it appears, and even our children are learning that way, mm -hmm. that for you to be successful in life mm -hmm. is to have these millions and billions of money stored somewhere, either in foreign country mm -hmm. and... Uh, and, and some in some banks. Mm -hmm. Is that really what success is? No. You know, success means different things to different people. Uh -huh. Please. You need to start there. Please. Please. So, someone will tell you you're successful because you're driving a car. Mm. Someone else will tell you you're successful because you have this or the other. So, success means different things to different people. Mm. But to me, success means affecting a life positively if i can oh. affect your lives positively i am successful it, so it doesn't has nothing even to do with these big money people are stealing no you see you can have all the money that you want but you may not be successful mm -hmm. in terms of many other ways yes the question you need to ask yourself is what is that money doing you see, oh. it is one thing to have the money, mm. but what is your money doing? Yes. What use is your money if people are dying of hunger? Mm. What use is your what is uh, uses of your money mm. if people have no medicine in the dispensary and you are the governor of the county? Mm. What is the use of your money if the women are wailing every day in their homes mm. because they have no food? Yes. What success is that? Uh, the other day, I think when the COVID set in, I think last year, 2020, uh, every county was supposed to raise a certain number of uh, ICU beds. Mm -hmm. And uh, last week, uh, if not this week, mm -hmm. um, we, we had this story of uh, uh, all hospitals are full. Mm -hmm. So where did the money that was released into counties... Uh, to set up an um, uh, ICU bed, where did it go, and uh, what does somebody feel when you steal money that could have saved their life, and those people die, what do these leaders feel, and do they expect to live peaceful lives after they do that, that time? How they feel? They feel nothing. Zero. Oh. Why? Because they have no conscience. They are dead. Because to them, it's about me and my family. That is why some of them have ICU beds in their homes. Mm. They don't care. Who told you they care, viewers? My friend, you need to start understanding you're on your own in this country. Without oh. a shadow of doubt, oh. you're on your own. Oh. Oh. Because when you go to a dispensary, there's mm. nothing. There's not the medication. When you, there's no that's why I said, Pastor, even this vaccine, you wait. By the end of this year, there will be another cash Let's, let's wait yes, about that. Yes. Let's wait about yes, that yes. one. But, but what amazes me is like um, our system does not seem to be able to stop corruption. Mm -hmm. Think about where we started to talk about golden bag. Scandal. Mm -hmm. I think there was good and bang. There, yeah. was, there was another one. Yes, yes, yes. There many, many, many. There come so many scandals. Mm -hmm. Then last year came a scandal. Mm -hmm. And the scandals does, do not seem to be able to stop. Mm -hmm. You go to the airport, there is scandal. Mm -hmm. There is a road being constructed and there is a scandal. Mm -hmm. What is wrong with our system? All we are just out there to steal. What are we out there about that uh, time? You know, Pastor, systems are as good as the people who man them. You oh. see? So you can have the best system in the world, mm. but the person manning that system is not right, so they manipulate it. Why mm. do you think there was an NYS scandal? Mm -hmm. NYS scandal is because somebody was trying to manipulate the system. Mm. And that is why it was arrested after some time, mm. because probably the person who now started, uh, you know, looking at the system saw that there's something going, uh, going on. So mm. our systems may be good, but the people manning the system are the problem. Are the problem. Because you see, you, you realize that the system is this way, and then you manipulate the system to your favor. Mm. That is why you find you do a job today. 
two of us do a job today, mm. one is paid immediately, the other one is paid after five years. Mm. Because someone is manipulating the system. You know, Dr. this is a curse because when I, as a pastor, mm -hmm. I walk into the slums next to our church here, mm -hmm. uh, the Kiambu slums, mm -hmm. and I look at what families are putting on the table, mm -hmm. you know, going out there by the small streets in the, in the slums mm -hmm. to buy, you know, those chicken, you know, I see the legs of chicken I know. and the, mm -hmm. you, you know that story. Yeah, I know those things. And with the 50 bob, they try to put something on the table mm -hmm. for children to eat. And what a shame it is to our leaders and what a curse mm -hmm. it is for leaders who are stealing billions mm -hmm. and the people in the slums are, have hardly anything mm -hmm. to put on the table. Mm -hmm. What a curse and what a shame, Dr. Ali. Yeah, it's very shameful that uh, actually, you know, Pastor, let me tell you something. Mm. It is easier to rule over people who are poor. Mm. So many leaders will ensure that you remain poor so that they rule you without questions. Really? Yes. Mm. Have you ever asked yourself why over the years nobody seems to be bothered about the slums? And even when they are bothered, they don't want to remove them out of the slums. They yeah. just go and give them musana kidogo kidogo. Mm. Because it is easy to rule a poor man. Mm. And that is why even the colonial guys... Is, that, is that what you call capitalism? Is this really capitalism? I know it's your area. I know Almost, your... but uh, it's, yeah? it's, about, um, it's about being... Um, how do I put this? Mm. You see, if, if 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 you are if you if you are, it's about dependency actually. Oh. If you if you depend you on me, dependency. yeah, you, you create dependency. Uh -huh. When people depend on you, you mm. do what you want. Mm. But when people don't depend on you, at check in counties where people are not dependent on the governor, mm. uh, the governors are very quick to do things. Oh. But where you find that people are poor by nature and afraid. Not even afraid. Just mm. check the counties because you know them. Counties where people are naturally, not naturally. People are, most not of them are poor. Poor. Mm. Because of probably where, where they are. Yeah. Maybe no rain mm. and those kind of mm. things. The governors are like uh, gods. Because they come and tell you we'll bring you Zahada. But look at where, counties where, mm. pe look at Kiambu. Kiambu is I think the richest mm. county in this country. Yeah, I think so. Just look at the way even the leaders in Kiambu behave. You mm. can't just go and tell people they are anything. Mm. Or just tell you we don't want. We are okay. But look at others, which I don't want to mention. Mm. Where they have no food, they are waiting. So, poverty is bad. Mm. And yes, shame on our leaders for that. But also shame on you, mm. uh, electorate. Because why do you keep on electing them? But I, I, I think uh, sometimes the electorate is so powerless when it comes to, because now the money that is coming to uh, corrupt the elections of 2022, that money has already been stolen. <laughs> so that money has already been stolen. Uh -huh. So the electorate is like they are at a vulnerable position uh, by the time they come to elect leaders. Mm -hmm. And um, it, it's a pathetic state. But let us move on, Dr. Ali, help us to know mm -hmm. Can we ever stop corruption in Kenya and in Africa? Yes, we can. We can. All you need to do is put the right people in leadership, and that is with us. Mm. Number two, ensure that people have the right values. If mm. I am in a position in, uh, not necessarily leadership in terms of politics, mm. if I'm in a position in a company and I have the right values, mm. I will ensure that the system is not broken. Mm. I will ensure that things happen. Pastor, if you check this uh, Kinakemsa issues and all that, but all the there is a the, small person involved somewhere. All these in the country have been declared free. They are as white as Pamba. <laughs> and those millions <laughs> never return to the coffers. They disappeared. But those who stole them, they are as clean as Pamba. You, you see, you see, if if the if 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 the electorate is serious and mm. give us the right leaders, mm. if the courts are serious, mm. and when you brought someone who is corrupt, you actually jail them properly. Mm. In other words, there must be det a deterrent. Yeah? Mm. Other than you bring the right leaders, you do the right thing, 
then we must have something that deters people from mm -hmm. wanting to steal. Because at the moment, what deters you, what deters anyone from stealing? They know mm -hmm. that I'll corrupt this one, I'll corrupt this one. Mm -hmm. And that's why you're saying in every big major scandal, there's a small man, man who yes. was used Correct. for people to do it. Correct. Now, uh, let's talk about systems that have integrity. Mm -hmm. Systems that can catch up with the man who has stolen mm -hmm. and done corruption in a government institution. Mm -hmm. and let, let's begin there because now, mm -hmm. uh, what amazes me and will help me to know mm -hmm. is how we put people into offices. Mm -hmm. Like let's say a cabinet secretary. Mm -hmm. We give you a big car, even chase cars. We give you security. Mm -hmm. We give you allowances. We give you a government house. Mm -hmm. We give you everything, mm -hmm. and when money is stolen, mm -hmm. the cabinet uh, uh, secretary under whose docket money disappeared, mm -hmm. he is still innocent. Help me understand, because to me, I fail to understand mm -hmm. how this system can stop corruption when it is working like this. Help me. You see why the cabinet secretaries will always be as white as Pamba mm -hmm. is because from a systematic point of view, mm -hmm. they are not the account. They are not accountable. They, Who is accountable? The accountable person is the, is the officer. The officer, the PS. The PS, yes. The PS. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. That's the accounting officer, mm -hmm. and that is why I'm saying, you see, the problem is when you start doing things mm -hmm. because you fear the leader. Oh. You see, there are so many people who sign all those funny things mm. because it is the cabinet secretary who has it. Mm. So you don't look at the papers to see that it is correct, but I'm ah, Kupua Mesema. Have you mm. heard Kenya? Yes, I've heard about Mesema. Mesema, Mesema. Mesema. So yeah. let's stop this nonsense of Mesema. Mm -hmm. Let us be willing to lose our jobs for standing yeah. on what is right. So you mean ma most of the leaders cannot stand to lose their jobs? They would rather stay there and over oversee corruption in their docket. In other words, people fear too much. Mm. You see, I, I, and in this country, you know, there's this guy who actually, I can't remember his name, is from a silent, mm. who actually uh, uh, is the one who, who, who was able to know there's a problem with Goldenberg and all that. Mm. And later he was killed. You know why? Mm. It's because people don't like people who have integrity. Oh. And we must change. And that's why I said we need to change from ourselves. Mm. You see, if we are in an office of 10 people mm. and 9 of us say no, mm. what is the leader going to do? If we all say no, I will not sign. If uh, you say that I will not sign something that is wrong, well, 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 what will happen? Our time is running out very fast. But help me know. Are the uh, uh, powerful offices in this country helping corruption to stay in place, to continue. Because you have just said something about Mukubwa Mesema. Mm. So are uh, those people in powerful positions helping corruption to stay in our country? You know, it is in their head that I'm a big person, so mm. I can do whatever I want. Mm. And that is why, in my view, we need to teach them a lesson. Mm. We need to tell them, hey, mm. e ni mukubwa, mm. lakini this is wrong, I will not sign. Because oh. you see, at the end of the day, mm. uh, I, I know this is not, uh, people may not take it very well, mm. but I think if corruption has to go, mm. we need a benevolent dictatorial president. A benevolent dictator. In my view. Because you see, In view. you see, Look at, uh, people may say anything they want to say about Magufuli, may he rest in peace. Mm. But there's something Magufuli did, mm. which Tanzania, I'm telling you, Magufuli lived it another, another five life. years. Yes. Tanzania would be beyond Kenya. And even the lady oh. who has come, eh, the mm. Sulu, yes. she's already fired someone. I like that. She's I already like that. fired someone I am due waiting to corruption. For the day I will see people fired for corruption. <laughs> Yeah, we say that you are not guilty. Step aside for it. Uh, yeah. They say step aside for it. For investigations. For investigations they say go forever. Aside. They go for forever. The money is never returned and it's gone, it's gone, it's gone. It's like if you steal in Kenya, that money can never be recovered. No, you see, the, 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 the bad part and the unfortunate bit about this country mm -hmm. is if there is any leader who wants to be a president and has integrity, mm -hmm. they won't even get votes. Oh. Um. Nah.
mm. because they don't have money. Mm. Yeah, and you see, for you to campaign, you need mm. money, mm. so they don't have money. Mm. But you see, I still have hope, Pastor, mm. because the time of Mishoki. Yes. Meshoki time. Yes, yes, yes. Kenyans stood against the Matatu guys. Mm. People walked and the Matatus changed. Yes. So we can change this country. Yes, if we, we can want change. To. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Wow, wow, wow. This is a wide, wide discussion. We have just touched the tip of the iceberg. And I believe God will give us another time to come and delve deeper into this matter. But attorney, before you go, mm -hmm. please address that camera mm -hmm. and say something to the leaders mm -hmm. and to the people of this country. Thank you. To the leaders of this country, you need to be men and women of integrity. You need to keep your word. You need to honor your word. You need to do what is expected of you. You need to do what is not even expressed, but it is expected of you. You need to be moral. Mm -hmm. You need to have values and you need to be men and women of character. Mm. And to the people listening to us who are not in leadership, you also need to be people of integrity and ensure that you put into power people of integrity. Ensure you use your vote properly mm. and ensure you put your leaders to account. Forget about where you come from. Put your leaders to account. Ask them those hard questions. Where is our money? These are our taxes. It is nobody's money. It is your money that is getting stolen. Mm. If you imagine it is your money that is getting stolen, you will take action. Mm. If you imagine that you'll go to a hospital, there's no medicine, mm. there's no oxygen, there's no ICU bed, you will change the way you do things. Yes. And therefore, as electorate, as people who bring leaders into positions, mm. we also must change the way we do things. We must put leaders to account. We must ask them those hard questions without fear and without favor. Because that is what God wants us to do. Mm. Yeah. Thank you, Dr. Lee.